Hi, in this video we'll set up our environment and create our first Angular application. To create your first Angular application you need a few tools installed on your computer. Let's look at those tools that you need to install. First you need a code editor. You can use any code editor you want. I prefer VS Code. It's one of the best code editors made by Microsoft and it's also free. If you go to this website you will be able to download the version for Windows, Linux or Mac. Next tool you need to install is Node.js. Node.js is an open source server side runtime environment. You need it to run your Angular applications. To download it you need to go to this website Node.js.org and download the latest version. I prefer the LTS version, it stands for long term support and right now it's 18.12.1. Next tool we're going to be using is NPM, Node Package Manager. Node Package Manager is coming with Node so as soon as you install Node you're going to have NPM and just to make sure you have the most current version you can actually type this command and it will give you the version that is installed on your computer. Let's see how it works. And the way you do it, you can click on start menu, type cmd and click on the command prompt. So when it opens, you can type node space dash v and as you can see, I have version 16.17.0 installed. To check the version of your node package manager, type npm-v and press enter. As you can see, my version is 8.19.1. And if you want to upgrade your version to the latest one, type and press enter. Now with my arrows up and down, I can find my command npm-v and as you can see now I have an upgraded version 9.1.1. More information you can find on the official website npmjs.com or you can go to w3schools.com and read about it more. This is the world's largest software library where you can get all kind of packages and it's all free. To install packages from the library you have to type npm as you can see here on the bottom space install space the name of the package and this is what we're gonna do when we install our next tool Angular CLI. Angular CLI or command line interface is a tool you are using to build your Angular application to create component services to run it or to build it and publish into the server environment. To install Angular CLI you need to use Node Package Manager. If you want to know more about Angular CLI you can go to the Angular official website and read about CLI here. Also Angular official site is the best source for information so if you go to the official website Angular IO and click on Docs you will have all information including tutorials how to use Angular CLI and how to build Angular projects. After you run this command to install Angular CLI, let's check if it's actually installed and what version of Angular CLI you have. To do it, let's go to our command prompt. And let's type ng space v. As you can see, my version is 14.1.0. Now, after we install all the tools, we can create our first application. Let's open our VS Code. So right here, I'm going to right click and click New Window. I'm going to close this Get Started window. Go to File, Open Folder. And I already created the folder, so I'm going to just find it. It's called Angular First Project. I'm going to select it, select folder. And I'm going to again close this Get Started window. And I already have the terminal open. I'm going to close it so I can show you how to open it. So I am inside this empty folder. 
So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go to Terminal and click New Terminal. As you can see, I'm inside this Angular First Project folder. To create our Angular project, we're gonna be using one of the Angular CLI commands. Let's look at those commands. As you can see, the very first command is nginu and you have to put your project name there. Also, with all commands, you can use abbreviations. So instead of typing nginu project name, you can just type ngn project name. Let's use this command. I'm gonna type nginu first project and press enter. I'm gonna select Y and press enter. Here, with arrows up and down, I can choose what type of styling I want to use. So I can use CSS, SCSS, SAS, LAS. Let's just choose uh, the very first option, CSS, and I'm gonna press enter. And as you can see, Angular CLI is installing packages. It might take a minute or two, so I'm gonna pause the video and restart when it's almost done. Our project is created and it's actually a fully functioning project. So let's look at the file structure of the project. I'm gonna open my folder and all files that you're gonna be modifying to change how your website looks, it's gonna be in this source folder and inside your app folder. I'm going to click on this HTML file. And this is what's inside this file. It's going to be rendered and showed on the screen when we start our application. Let's look at our command we're going to use to start our application. The command we will be using is ng-serve, so it will start the application. And if we want to open it in the browser, we need to type ng-serve space dash all. On the right side, you can see the short version of that command. And in the terminal, we will type ngserve o and press enter. As you can see, we got an error and it said this command is not available when running the Angular CLI outside the workspace. The reason for that is because we are not inside our newly created project. We are inside our initial folder, but not inside our project. Let's type dir for directory, and let's see what we have inside our folder. So as you can see, we have a folder first project. To go inside that folder, we will type cd, that stands for change directory, and I'm gonna type first project and press enter. And now we are inside our project folder. With arrows up and down, I'm going to find the command that I need and I'm gonna press enter. And this is my first project that was open in a new tab. Let's remove all boilerplate code and place something on the screen really simple. I'm going to go back to VS code, click inside this file select everything by pressing Ctrl A and I'm going to delete everything by pressing Ctrl X. Now let's place just one H1 tag and after I save this application by pressing Ctrl S and as you can see on the bottom it says compile successfully. When I go back to my browser I have my H1 tag displayed on the screen. I hope this video was helpful and thank you for watching.